a mi familia citas. So, we're gonna have a quick conversation about how I got here. I don't think I really got into depth in my last video about like real in detail regarding how I got here. So I think I mentioned before that I had made two appointments with dental, with Aspen Dental. Um, my first appointment was for supposed to be it was supposed to be for October 26th. And then they called me and they changed the appointment for a later time, like I think it was about November. They put me for November 27th. So when they put my put up my appointment further along, I was already in research regarding like looking for um, other places of who can take my insurance. And I never really got into detail about how I got my my dentures. Let me go step by step with you guys. Let me, let me get us up with some water. <laughs> so I um I had a few notes that I kept taking down about who was going to take my insurance. So I found one place in my area, which was um, Dawson Dental. And I called them and I asked them, I'm sorry, I'm looking over here because I'm looking at my notes. I had asked them if they would take emails, like uh, photos of emails, if I could send it to their email regarding my teeth. Um, the lady that I spoke with, she agreed and she said absolutely. So she gave me the email address to the dental. So I took photos on top of photos. I mean, the photos that I did pull up as my, you know, through my journey. Those were all the photos that I kept sending to the dentist through emails. Once she received the photos, she gave me a call right away. Now, let me explain something really quickly. I will forever be grateful to the lady who took my photos, who got the email, and who called me back. If it wasn't for that lady, I think I would not be in my dentures right now even talking about sharing my journey literally because when you are at the at your ends rope and Aspen had already given you not one but two appointments then they changed it again to a longer date from like October and moved all the way to February and I was like there's no way I'm gonna keep rotting in my mouth like to February there's just no way like there has to be some type of hope so I emailed and I got, I finally got a notification regarding the email with a phone call. And when the lady called me back, I'm not even gonna mention her name, but she knows who she is and she's watching this video. <laughs> I could cry talking about it because That lady, when she looked at my mouth and she saw my teeth, she said, um, she said, yes, I think you need to come in and, um, we gonna pull, we're gonna push your appointment for, um, it's supposed to be October 23rd. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, God. Every time I think about that lady, I cry because she is like my angel. She's my angel. She's my angel. And I will forever be grateful for that lady, like forever. Um, so she called me, she said, 
come in October 7th or 6th, I think it was. And I just bought on grind because I was just, I felt like somebody actually really heard me and was listening to me and listening to the cries that I did, my cries of hope that I needed with my mouth and my health. And all I can say is I will forever be grateful her, to her, like forever. I can't express it. I can't express how much I will forever hold her dear to my heart, like just for life because she was my angel, period. Like she was my angel and When I went in, um, I had my consultation and the dentist I had at the time was amazing. He was really gentle. He was compassionate. He had the best bedside manners. Um, I remember his first question was, you know, like, what do you want to change with your smile? And I just said, like, I want to smile again. Like, I, don't, I haven't smiled in a very long time, you know? It was really hard, and I just want my smile back. That's what I remember telling him. And I remember, um... God, I'm sorry. I just remember him taking notes down and asking me like um what um how I wanted like you know like if I knew that I was gonna be in my dentures and if I was going to accept it and I said you know I, I already know what I'm in for and I just I need to get out so we took down, he took down notes and um, he agreed that uh, all 26 teeth had to come out and he also agreed for me to be sedated. He said, you know, I don't want you to be awake for something like that. I think you need to be sedated. Um, that'll be the best option. Um, and we'll just send you out to like our local surgeon who was in my area at the time. And um. I just like I just remember doing my paperwork and just like saying like they got really answered my questions like when it came to my mouth because I just wanted help so badly I just wanted to change my smile and just be a healthier version of myself with my teeth. I did not expect to be crying in this video, I promise you. <laughs> I really don't have a down pack, but I guess I don't. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> but, um. <sighs> these are happy tears. Don't. Please don't think that they're bad tears because they're not. They're happy tears. I'm just dumb. Every time I talk about it, it really makes me cry because I just remember like mourning, you know, mourning what I was about to go through by losing my teeth and not knowing the outcome and not knowing like what my future was going to look like. I still don't even know what my future is going to look like. I'm still dealing with shrinkage. I'm still dealing with, you know, learning these dentures in my mouth and learning how to live with prosthetics because this is what literally what they are in my mouth they're prosthetics and um i appreciate them i really do because they've just given me back my life they've given me back you know i felt like my prayers were answered when i kept asking you know the man above like I, I need help and i don't know who's gonna help me i don't know how i'm gonna get this done i don't even know how i'm gonna get the money to get it done but i remember a couple of years ago when i did move up here i from the bronx and uh almost five years now i've been living up you know upstate and i just remember like you know would i ever would i ever get my teeth fixed because i knew how expensive it was um 
and right before the panorama hit, um, I decided to open up my own cleaning business. You know, something I did on the side, um, just to try to like give me something to do while my kids went to school and just some way to make some money. Cause I, like I said, you know, my twins have autism, so I have to literally work on their watch. Like, <laughs> there's no nine to five for me. <laughs> Because you know, if they was to do, if they knew the, the the craziness I deal with, they would have been fired me a long time ago. Which is why I would never have a like a nine to five job. I would literally just work for myself and on their watch, literally. So what I did was I opened up a cleaning business and I started cleaning homes for a living. You know, I do a lot of things. Yeah, I do a lot of DIY projects at home. Um, I'm into hair, I'm into wigs, I'm into taping, extensions, all of the above. I love all the beauty stuff. Anything girly, I'm, I'm into it, I'm for it. Um, so I said, you know, this is the only way I will be able to make money on the side and try to clean up my credit as much as I could. And that's what I did. So once I got some clients, you know, I got all my cleaning products and I went to work. I went to work. I clean homes for a living and that's what I had to do. And that's something that I'm forever grateful for, you know? I haven't done it in a while now, um, only because of the, when the COVID hit, uh, that kind of put a halt to things. But in the meantime, while that was on hold, you know, I was just starting to do hair, self-teaching myself how to do makeup, hair, lashes, you call it, you name it, I, I do it. Nails, all of the above. Um, and you know, I do have a special client that she comes constantly for her hair and I'm forever grateful for her. She knows who she is. And um, yeah, by just doing that, you know, doing that on the side has helped me tremendously to clean up my credit, make a little bit of money on the side. I got my insurance, my dental insurance of what I needed, which is United Healthcare, Medicaid. And um, once I found out that dental place took my insurance and they would, they would cover surgery-wise, like the extractions, I would only have to come out of pocket for my immediate dentures. That was like a win-win for me. It was like, it can't get no better than this, you know? <laughs> I gotta take it. I gotta. I gotta get on it because I need these teeth out of my mouth. M my my health was just deteriorating. It was just. It was not good at all. And um, it's the best decision I ever made. And I'm just forever grateful for that dental place that I went to. He's a private dentist. He's not a, a commercial dentist. Um, I just have great things to say about them. I will be forever, forever grateful to them. I did, um, you guys know I did have three surgeries after my extractions of 26 teeth extracted um, between the bone spurs and healing and all of that stuff. So I was actually able to get my first reline, um, I'm gonna say about maybe three months into it, which I just made six months, guys, on May 23rd. Hey! Six months anniversary of my immediate dentures. Okay. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, what was I saying? I'm so sorry, that was my thought. Okay, so three months into my healing, um, I got my first reline. And it was awesome. The first reline was good. I was able to eat. I actually went out to a first time to a restaurant. I had food in public and I wasn't embarrassed or feeling like my teeth were gonna come out. Everything was great. But within two weeks into the soft reline, it was already starting to feel big on me. And I was like, oh gosh. And then with the soft reline, it didn't adhere with cushion grip. So cushion grip was, you know, literally like saving my life. Literally. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna have to take off the soft reline, which I was able to do. I took it off myself and I just kept on applying my cushion grip. And there's times that I do use, which I have in front of me, I'm gonna show you guys. These are my faves because they work so good. Number one, okay, you guys all know, well, whoever's the denture knows the Fix Grim Plus is like it's top tier, right? Perfect, okay. 
for the certain parts, right? Right. But then we have Secure. And I love Secure because it does the same job just like the fix it in. The only difference is that the cleanup is not as difficult the way it would be with fix it in. The Secure is a much cleaner cleanup than it is with fix it in, if that makes sense. It all comes out, but it's, it takes a longer process to take this one out because this is really good. This is good, but this is good. So, these are my two faves. This is what I love. I also have my powder. I usually use my powder for like my bottom denture. And it does a great, great job. Expect the poly grip. I never tried the poly grip. Um, yeah, I never tried the poly grip glue itself. Not the like just the powder. Never the adhesive. Um, and I also have my fix stamp powder as well because they're just both amazing. Um, and in the process of six months to a year, like I said in my last video, I'm waiting for a year in order to get into my permanent. So my insurance did cover the extractions. They covered my bone spur surgeries, which was three of them. That's three surgeries in total. It also covered my reliners, um, and they'll be covering the permanent dentures. But in the meantime, I had to pay out of pocket for my aftercare, my immediate dentures. You know, just take money for your aftercare. You gotta have good hygiene in your mouth, no matter what. Dentures, no dentures, even if you don't have teeth, you still gotta brush your gums, you still gotta brush your tongue, you still have to wash your mouth thoroughly. Please, people, like, don't ignore that because a lot of people would just feel like, oh, dentures is such a quick fix, and it's absolutely not, like, it's more bacteria that will linger in your mouth than even your own teeth. So it's an acrylic plastic, for crying out loud, like it's a prosthetic, you know? You just wanna be very careful when it comes to your mouth, your hygiene, everything like that is just important. And if you wanna have a, a successful, sorry, I'm still with the lisp. If you wanna have a successful denture journey, just hygienically, make sure your mouth is clean, make sure your dentures are always clean, make sure you're following up with your dentists. If you have any questions, make sure you follow up with, follow up with your dentists. Um, I'm just letting you guys know what has worked for me. I'm not a dentist, I'm not a doctor, I'm none of the above, okay? I'm just a denturera. And I'm following, you know, I'm just sharing my journey and what has worked for me and what hasn't worked for me so far so good you know i did a lot a lot of research that's something i needed to tell you guys as well when you are walking into this journey please do your research youtube okay there's so many denture wearers that are on youtube that has helped me get this this far and i do want to give them a shout out because they were just like a godsend to me when i was in my journey okay I'm still in the journey, but, uh, but I'm just saying like in the beginning of it, these people helped me tremendously. Number one, Danielle's dent Denture Diaries. Oh, she's my doll. She's my denture sister. I love her. Um, Heather B. Diva, dent Heather Denture, no, I think it's Heather B. Diva Denture Guerra. She's also amazing as well. She's very informative with her videos. She's been doing this for, I think, three years now. Um, Life with Michelle and Rob. My little old couple, my favorite couple. They're denture wearers as well. And she has amazing videos on what she covers regarding her dentures. She covers, I learned the secure because of, because of her. Michelle. Um, another thing I, I that I wanted to show you guys. Oh, and let me mention someone else. I'm so sorry. There's a few content creators, but I probably won't remember them on the top of my, on my mind right now. But um, dentures versus food. Oh, he's amazing. His channel is amazing as well. So you should just check him out as well. He teaches you how to eat with your dentures. 
it teaches you, you know, just have patience with your mouth and you need prosthetics in your mouth. It's a new learning, you know, everything is new when it comes to the dental world. So learning how to talk, learning how to eat, learning how to smile. <laughs> I had to learn how to smile again and I'm loving the new smile. Like, oh my God, I'm just so grateful. And um, it's, yeah, it, just, just, just know that this is not the end of the world, guys. And if you do your research and you're, pers and you're consistent and you take a lot of pictures from the beginning, as much as you're embarrassed if you have bad teeth right now, it's not to be publicly showing it to anyone. This is just for your own journey. This is something that you just lock for yourself. Make yourself your little own diary. Just make it work for you. But keep notes. Send all these pictures to your dentist. Ask them if they have an email address. That totally helps, okay? Like, these are just little tips that I'm trying to give you guys that can help you get further and more, you know, comfortable with your denture journey. It's a lot to tolerate, it's a lot to digest, because it is, it's a new life, it's a new way of living, um, but it's not over, okay guys? So just remember that, and remember that it gets better. You just have to want better for it to get better. Remember that. Another thing I wanted to show you guys, um, there was something that I was thinking about, like when it comes to the males, like all our men denture wearers. Um, Cause you know, I was thinking like, if I'm traveling and I have a, my bag or my purse and I don't want to carry like, you know, they're not that huge, but I don't really want to take up space with all my denture products, you know, like my powders and all that stuff. So what I would do is I found they're tiny, they like little, little, um, it's like a little travel bag. You can find it anywhere, in dollar store, Amazon. They come with a whole bunch of them. I'm gonna show you what I done, what I done with mine, of how I, what I do and how I travel. So this is my, um, my fix it and paste. <laughs> I put it in here, okay? I put it in here. No, it's not drugs, guys. This is my fixer and powder, or I think it's the polyethylene powder, sorry. But I put it in here, and what I do is like, in case I'm at, you know, anywhere outside publicly, just flip it open, you can just dab it out, like that, see? <sighs> now, these are little things that I would travel with in my bag. And even men, not, you know what? This is good for men, because I know you, you guys don't usually carry purses with you, you know? Unless you just drive, driving your trucks, cars, whatever you do, man bag. But these are little cute compartments to keep your dental products in when you're traveling. You don't have to carry such big bulky stuff. And another tip I do have as well that I kind of forgot. I think I have it upstairs. So I'll just show you a quick example. Um, I'll put the link in the bio as well in my description. These pointy Q-tips, they're amazing. So what I do is I take like a few of these and I just stick them. Do I have them in here? Let me see. Hold on, guys. I think I, yeah, I think I do. Let me check. I take a few of these Q-tips and I just put a few of them inside this little container. And I hold it in here as well. So I don't have to carry such bulky and, you know, so many denture stuff, but... This is just like emergency things to keep you together, girl. You don't want your teeth coming out in public or in front of anybody. So, uh, yeah, but it would be safe and sorry, child. So I just take a few of my Q-tips, stick them in there. That's it. Just keep them nice and sterilized, nice and clean. They're very precise, very tightly uh, pointy. These are perfect for my makeup. It's what I usually have of course for my makeup, but they're so good when you need to like spread your glue, your adhesive on your dentures. They're very precise. They get into the little cricks and crannies and it's just like perfection, okay? So these are my little travel things that I use in my bag. Now, if I was to get pulled over by police for whatever reason, 
I'm an innocent bystander police officer, so I'm just letting y'all know that if y'all see this in my bag, it's dental products, okay? Nothing else. That's it, just dental products, that's it. <laughs> Can you imagine that? They'll be like, oh, hey, hold on. How many? What? what, 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 what. It's powder for the dentures. Okay. <laughs> Not to say that would be hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, this is a good idea for men. Men can also use these little gadgets and just throw the little denture products in there and just dump it in a man bag or your car wherever you know you don't have to carry like these big bulky things when you want to get out and travel and do what you got to do so that was just a little quick update of what i wanted to you know share with you guys how i really got here a little bit more in depth about my emailing my research um guys i've been doing this research stuff for over 10 years okay when it comes to my teeth like this is not something that i just started yesterday this is something that's been in the making for a very long time okay um i really just got the ball started rolling like literally because of the lady who re who answered my emails and called me back with an earlier appointment so the day that i was supposed to be this is what i wanted to say the day i was supposed to be at aspen i was already getting my teeth extracted through the private dentist so all that waiting for aspen my, my teeth were already done like i already had my dentures in like girl bye so you know i'm just so grateful i'm just so grateful for the research i'm grateful for when i want something i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it i'm gonna do my homework about it but i'm gonna make it happen one way or another okay and this right here was the most main priority ever okay so i'm very happy that i'm here now and i'm sharing my journey with you guys i hope that you take in everything that i said and i hope that it does help whoever's in need and maybe this advice can get you guys to where you need to be with your journey um so i'm gonna leave it right here i hope you guys enjoy your evening and that's it i'll be coming up soon with some more content for you guys and um yeah these were my notes and i just wanted to share that with you guys and um let you know like it's not the end of the world this is just the beginning and it's gonna get better you just gonna want better okay so just do your research make phone calls follow youtube look at the denture um channels that definitely helps you um subscribe to my channel that'll probably help you as well <laughs> and yeah it's so good talking with you guys i'm so happy i'm sharing my journey with you guys as well and um yeah hopefully this you know these little tips can help you guys and that's it so i'm gonna leave it here and i will speak with you very very soon so enjoy whoever's in this gentle journey make the best of it and just know that it's not over and yeah I'll speak with you guys soon. Bye.